The Kuiper Belt is the region just beyond the orbit of Neptune. This region can be compared to the asteroid belt of our solar system, which lies between Mars and Jupiter. The inner edge of the Kuiper Belt starts at a distance of 30 astronomical units from the Sun and ends approximately at 1,000 astronomical units. The belt is filled with icy cold debris and a few dwarf planets which we will discuss later in the video. The Kuiper Belt is a vast region of space, mostly unexplored. Most of the stellar residents of this region either have a moon, that is a larger mass, being orbited by a smaller particle or they are binary objects, two objects, similar in the amount of mass present, orbiting each other. Much of the knowledge about the dwarf planets of Kuiper Belt have been gathered from, terrestrial and space telescopes and the New Horizons space mission to Pluto and beyond. More details on this belt will be available in the near future, thanks to the new array of telescopes being built on Earth which will have resolution, never achieved before. As of now, we mainly know about eight dwarf planets, Pluto, Eris, 2007 OR10, Maki Maki, Triton, Sedna, Quawa, and Orcus. Clyde Tombaugh on February 18, 2019, discovered Pluto. It was considered as the ninth planet of our solar system, until the discovery of Eris. Due to its similar size, scientists debated whether it can be called a planet. Later it was re-designated as a dwarf. The surface of this dwarf is mainly composed of craters, mountains, valleys and plains. Temperatures are between a negative 226 to a negative 240 degrees Celsius. Year 2005. Astronomers, Mike Brown, Chad Trujillo and David Rabinowitz discovered Eris. The dwarf planet smaller but denser than Pluto. Interesting fact about this dwarf is that a year in this world is equal to 557 Earth years. Residents of this planet would celebrate a new year every five generations. Unlike Pluto which has six moons, Eris only has one. One of the reddest worlds that astronomers know of, the 2007 OR10. Experiments carried out on Earth with the endeavor to revel the conditions which made life possible on Earth, revealed that organic compounds if exposed to ultraviolet rays for a long period, turned to a reddish color. This might explain the reason behind the red color of the planet. Similar to Eris, a year in this world is equal to 550 Earth years. Maki Maki, another icy world like Pluto, with similar freezing temperatures, the surface of this dwarf is bright white, but its moon, MK2 is as dark as charcoal. Studies performed on this world reveal that it might have traces of methane on its surface. Sedna, another planet with with the surface color red. It is known to have one of the strangest orbits around the sun. It takes almost 11,400 years to go around the sun, which means only one year has passed on this dwarf, since humans started domesticating sheep. According to scientists, Sedna was probably knocked off its course in the Kuiper belt by a passing star. Discovered about two decades ago and closely observed by the New Horizons spacecraft, Quawa is a dwarf situated about 42 astronomical units away from the Sun. The frozen liquid on the surface has formed mountains, valleys and canyons all over the dwarf. Finally, Orcus also known as anti-Pluto because of its striking similarities but opposing orbital pathways. Both the dwarfs come closer to the Sun, more than Neptune does. The heat received from the Sun at the closest distance, produces a temporary atmosphere on this dwarf. Scientists also detected the presence of water ice on the surface. Just like Pluto it too has a moon, named Phanth. It is reddish in color just like other Kuiper belt objects. We missed out on Triton, well, technically not, because we are mentioning it now. It used to be a Kuiper Belt dwarf, but the gravitational force of Neptune is believed to sucked it out of its orbit and now it's a moon of Neptune. Pluto, which once had liquid water on its surface, is now frozen, compared to Triton which might also harbor water, but in the liquid form thanks to the gravitation of Neptune. This world could be a habitable place for humans. If you liked the video make sure like and share. Subscribe for more daily content like this.